SpaceX wasn't worried about the launch. They expected the most powerful rocket ever built to reach orbit. But after the first two test flights last year ended in massive explosions, the relief at SpaceX was palpable. Making it this far is farther than, we, than we've gone Absolutely. on flight two. Onboard cameras offered stunning views of the red hot plasma field as the craft re-entered Earth's atmosphere before it was lost. The US Federal Aviation Administration called it a mishap. SpaceX and NASA, which never expected the Starship to survive, deemed it a success. It is rocket science after all. Um, it is, it's hard, it's hard to achieve, even if we've done it in different uh, variations and different ways multiple times, every time is a new challenge. A lot is riding on SpaceX getting this right to achieve the goal set out by CEO Elon Musk. In the short term, he needs the Starship to deliver large satellites into orbit. But more importantly, he's partnered with NASA on the Artemis III mission, which will send astronauts to the moon as early as 2026. Former astronaut Mike Massimino says without private industry, space exploration is just too expensive. I think one of the reasons we haven't been back to the moon in 50 years is because up till recently, NASA has been, and Canadian Space Agency and, and others, other government agencies, space agencies have been dependent on the taxpayer's dollar. There's only so much you can do with that. I need a moment to pick my jaw up from the floor because these views are just stunning. Musk has said he wants to see hundreds of uncrewed flights before astronauts set foot inside the Starship. After that, the moon, which for Musk is merely a stepping stone to Mars. Mike Drolet, Global News, Toronto.